Hey everybody, what's going on? Hexlex here. Today we have got more Zodiac for you. As I mentioned in my deck profile for the deck, this is what I am planning on using for the upcoming Xyz Festival event. Now, I have been practicing this deck in order to uh, try to get better with it in time for the event, as there will be a lot of Zodiac players and I would like to be one of the better ones, ideally by the time the event rolls around. In any case, we've got some live duels for you today, featuring the good old Zodiac deck here. Before I jump into the duels, let us, of course, go into the deck itself. Now, there is going to be a link to my deck profile in the description, so if you want a more in-depth view rather than a brief rundown, you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, we're just going to look at the list here. I've got one Effect Veiler, two Drill and Lockbird, three Maxi, three Ash, two Skullmeister, one Bunny Blast, three Whiptail, three Thoroughblade, and three Ram Ram, as well as two Nibiru to round out the monsters. For the spells, we've got a Harpies, a Monster Reborn, two Pot of Avarice, two, three Desires, two Lightning Storm, three Tanky, two Called By, three Impermanence. In the extra deck, we've got uh, F0 and F0 Draco. We've got three Tiger Mortar, one Dryden's, two Borbo, two Hammer Kong, three Chakanane, a Drill Driver, Vespinado as well as good old Zeus. So that is going to be the list there. Again, if you want to run that back to get the list, or it's going to be in the description, not only the list itself, but the full deck profile. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these live games that I had while practicing with the deck. Whoops, I almost forgot to push the record button. Glad I remember that when I did. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game here. All right, we're going to lose the coin flip and go second, which is not that bad for this deck, honestly. Um, we've got a lot of hand traps, and we actually kind of like to go second because we like to have more cards in hand anyway to make plays with. Yeah, like, look at this. We've got Joel, Knockbird, Nash. We're good. We have Desires and Avarice as well, so they're going to begin with Extravagance. I definitely want to Ash this, I think. I'd rather do that than wait for them to draw and then draw and lock. Especially because they're going to try to draw two cards. Now, let's just, let's just Ash it and get it over with. Yep, no Extravagance for our opponent, so they've only got four cards to work with. Okay, looks like they're going to be playing a bunch of back row. A two Gemini Elf, alright. We got ourselves a game. Let's go. Okay, let's see. We got a called by. Not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is pretty much any Zodiac monster. Let's start with our desires. See if that gets responded to. Uh, nope, I don't want to ash our own thing. Okay, perfect. We got a couple of Zodiac monsters here. Now I gotta decide if I want to go in with Whiptail or Ram Ram. Ram Ram is probably better because our opponent's got back row. And this is when it inflicts battle damage, right? Yeah, it forces me to discard a random card. Okay, I'm going to summon a Ram Ram. Let's see if they've got a response. Lose one turn. Negate the effects. While a monster is face up on the field, negate its effects during the turn that monster is special summoned. If an effect monster is special summoned in attack position, change it to defense position. That's actually totally fine. Like... Yeah, I'm, I'm completely okay with this. I'm going to stack on Hammer Kong. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to get turned to defense mode anyway. Ah, that's what it'll do. It'll drain our monster stats. That is a little bit annoying. But if I stack on Dryden... Okay, that's... Yeah, if I stack on Whiptail, that's not going to do anything, because my monster's effect's going to be negated anyway. Um, well, let's see here. I'm going to... What am I going to do? I do have a Whiptail in my hand, so I have Zodiac plays next turn. Let's stack... We could just stack the Vespinado. It's actually a really good stack here, because, like... I was going to change it to defense mode, but the Gemini Elf can't attack over it. We could still go for Dryden anyway, and the next turn Dryden can just activate its effect. And we can pop the lose one turn. Yeah, I, I actually like that line better. Let's just do that. One, 
two, three. Uh, you know what? I should have put another material on, honestly, because if this gets dealt with, then I could have Avarice at the start of the turn. Um, that's fine, though. Do I need to set anything? Yeah, I'm gonna set this called by. Then I'm gonna pass. And, yep, our Drain's gonna get its stats back, so it's got 2,000 defense, so this Toon Gemini Elf isn't posing really much of a threat right now. I can just use Dryden to pop the lose one turn. Wow, they just go straight to end phase. That's totally fine with me. Dryden F. And our opponent concedes. <laughs> Great. So yeah, that's like, I mean, that's a very bare bones way of how Zodiac controls. But I mean, you know, we just threaten them with the Dryden. And the, of course the Dryden is also... Get the Ram Rams effect, those extra Zodiac effects are going to be very helpful as well. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just go into the next game. Alrighty, let's go straight into the next game here with our Zodiac deck. Playing against Astel at Plat 5. Oh. Like I've always said, I, I always feel bad playing against Plat 5 opponents. I don't. I don't want to be the bully that drops them back down into gold, you know? <clears throat> this is looking like a pretty good hand here. Let's go ahead and start with the Desires. Okay, looks like they don't have a response. That's good. Okay, so we're going to have to tanky here. <clears throat> nope. Yep. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so we lost two Ram Rams and a Bunny Blast to the Desires. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think on the first turn with no other Zodiacs, Whip Tail's probably our best option. That way, at the very least, if we can't stop what's going to run over our monster, we can banish it. There's an argument for Ram Ram's defense and the fact that then it can't get negated by Imperm. Let's actually do that. I talked myself into Ram Ram. I mean, the other option was to save Ram Ram for a potential Utopic combo, but eh, I'm not particularly concerned about that. Okay, let's stack a Hammer Kong on. Yep, I don't have any engraved, so there's no need to get Mortar or Chakanane or Borbo, so let's just stack Dryden on in defense position. set one of my two impermanences here. I'm going to hold the other one in my hand and then I am going to pass. The main reason I'm holding the other impermanence from my hand is not only to potentially use it next turn if I get board wiped, but if I set both, it's probably going to draw or rather it will be more likely to draw a lightning storm or a harpy's feather duster and then it's just an unnecessary, unnecessary waste. Plus, I don't think it's likely that the second imperm is going to make the difference. It very well could but I don't think it's particularly likely. Definitely want to ash this Rhoda. If my opponent's playing Sky Strikers, which if it's Rhoda, it seems like it's likely, then I definitely want to try to get rid of their access to Ray. Just try to make their plays a little more awkward, if we can. Now when they summon Ray, you don't necessarily want to dry it in response because Ray's got a quick effect to go into the Link Monster. And as we all know, Dryden does target, so you can't just then destroy the Link monster, so... Yep, gotta be careful about how you do that. It's a danger deck. Okay. You may reveal this card. I just have to... Then if it was not this one, special summon if you do draw one card. If you just... Oh, so it's special summons either way. So I definitely want to respond with this to... Or rather, I definitely want to respond to this with Maxi. Going to cancel. Now our opponent gets the random discard. It's what was that? Psychic Tracker. If you control a level three monster other than Psychic Tracker, you can summon this card from your hand in defense position. Secret monster, but it's not a tuner. Got it. Okay. Um, smart. See, they set around my back row. They're playing around the imperm. Very smart of my opponent. I'm going to Dryden during the end phase, because they can't respond with the cards they just set, and I don't want them to have this monster on the field. I mean, it's not particularly threatening, but it's just, you know, better to get rid of it now than try to deal with it later if we need to deal with it later. 
All right. Let's go ahead and draw for a turn. We have a called by the grave. Okay. I'm going to begin with a desires. <clears throat> See if our opponent's got a response to that. What do we send? Uh, we sent a lot of hand traps and most of our other zodiacs, which is a little unfortunate. Kind of consider it a second bunny blast just to have more zodiac monsters in the main deck. But we did draw Thoroughblade, so that's nice. Okay. Let me try to think about what I want to go for here. I mean, the world's kind of our oyster at this point, right? Do we have any zodiac stuff in Grave? We have a Hammer Kong. So let's see, if I summon Thoroughblade. And then overlay into, oh, I don't know, like, Tiger Mortar, and then go from Tiger Mortar into Chocanane. Chocanane can revive the the Hammer Kong. We can switch Dryden right to attack mode, hit with both. We can even throw um, Zeus onto Chocanane and not Dryden, so we could have Zeus and uh, Dryden. That'd be a bit extra, but, I mean, nothing wrong with being a bit extra, to be honest. Okay, let's try this. As I said, some Thoroughblade. Let's put on a Tiger Mortar. Just as, or you know what? I want to put on Hammer Kong because I still have an extra Hammer Kong here. Hammer Kong is actually a little relevant here. I didn't even think about this. Eh, not that relevant. It's only targeting. It doesn't even protect them from destruction as well. Yeah, we could go into F-Zero. I was kind of thinking about that, but... Mm, I think Zeus is going to be ultimately the better play here. Okay, I'm going to summon a Chocanane in attack mode. Let's see if our opponent's got a response to that. I have no idea. Danger thing and Psychic... Jumper, whatever it was called. Um, all right, activate effect. Detach hammer con. Special hammer con. Uh, nope. And summon that in defense mode over there. Switch this to attack mode. Then I'm going to enter Z battle phase. Let's begin by attacking with Dryden. Nothing? Okay, that's good. <clears throat> now let's attack directly with Chocanane. Still nothing, that's good. Okay, let's move into main phase two. Okay, so Chocanane is has got one material, so two, three, four. Okay, so yep, we want to stack Tiger Mortar and Borbo onto Chocanane. <clears throat> Have it? Do they not? Yes, no, maybe so. Nope. Okay. And then Zeus. On to here. And boom. Four material Zeus. Plus the Dryden. Plus we have a spare Hammer Kong. Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. I'm definitely going to respond with Dryden's effect. Detach Ram Ram, and then we can pop the Fog Blade. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. <clears throat> nope, that's fine. Now that our Fog Blade is gone, and our Zeus is no longer negated. And now that our Dryden has no more materials, we can just stack a Drill Driver on top of it. Also going to put that in defense mode to play around Lightning Storm. Finally, I'm going to set an Imperm into this column to potentially negate that spell or trap and pass back to the opponent. Hammer Kong's going to activate. doesn't have any materials to detach. It's not going to destroy itself or anything, so I'm not really concerned about it. I should have set called by as well. Was technically correct there. Hope that doesn't end up mattering. I don't think it will, but it could.
Sure enough, it is a Phantom Knight deck. What is this one? If this card is in attack position, you can target one dark monster on the field, change it to this card, and if you do that, monster gains. Blah, 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 blah. Nope, not concerned. Um, yeah, go for it, dude. <laughs> cool. Great. Ooh, what is this? Special summon this card. If you have no traps in your graveyard, you can activate this turn. Set. Um, do I care? Should I try to negate that? I probably should, right? Oh, God. Hang on. I, I want to activate this one. How do I know it's... How do I know? Hang on. Let me see something. Nope, that doesn't tell me which one it is. Oh, there we go. I was like, I know there's a way to tell. Yeah, I'll negate this. Because I don't know. Mostly because I just don't know like if my opponent's gonna like randomly like exceed summon during their turn. Or no, they're gonna do it now because it's a level. Oh no, it's a level four. Maybe have a way to change its level. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Okay, ooh, we got a pot of avarice. Good draw, good draw. One, two, three, four. Never mind, not a great draw. Not a great draw. <laughs> um, do we have anything we want to overlay this Hammer Kong into? Mm, we could, well, I mean, we could, like, Tiger Mortar and then put on the Ram Ram. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's do that. Nope, no response from our opponent. Oh, wait, no, 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 I don't need to overlay. I want to activate effect. Detach Hammer Kong. Target itself. And attach Ram Ram. There we go. Nope, no effects need to be activated. That's fine. Okay. So if I use Chalkinane, nah, that would have to be during the end phase. So, you know what, I'm going to summon a Borbo on top, just to get a little bit of extra damage in. Might not be, I might want to save that. Although, to be fair, I'm also, like, pretty much out of Zodiac monsters in my deck anyway, right now. And we've got Avarice to refuel as well. Alright, let's change this to attack mode, let's change this to attack mode, enter battle phase. I'm going to start by having the Drill Driver attack the Phantom Knight's uh, Ancient Cloak here. Okay, nothing, we do the piercing damage. Now I'm going to have Borbo attack directly, let's see if our opponent's got anything. Nope. All right, now let's smack them with Zeus, see if they've got anything in response to that. And yeah, we still don't have enough to Avarice, that's fine. I'm gonna move into the main phase two. I'm going to set my called by because it could be relevant. Make sure there's nothing I wanna overlay into. Nope, there's not. I'm just going to end my turn here. Alright, so opponent's got three cards total to play with. Okay, what is this? What does that do? Banish, add one Phantom Knight's card. Uh, nope, I'm gonna ash that. Ooh, no one of cross out. Or, er, no one of cross out, Jesus. Cross out designator, rather. That's how you know I'm an old school player. When I see this art, my first thought is Nobleman of Crossout. Let's see. I definitely don't want to call by, right? Yeah, their thing's not in the grave anymore, so yep. They can, that can just resolve. I'm okay with that. So their opponent is going to get the search, but you know, keep in mind they've still got to play through the Zeus and our back rows as well. 
Okay, there's Silent Buttes. I've played this- I've played Phantom Knights before, but I just- okay. If the only monster you control is a Phantom Knights monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And that's in their hand. So wait, if I Zeus in response to this normal summon, don't I just win? I mean, yeah, it's gonna blow up all my stuff, uh, fucking whatever, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Uh, nope, I don't need to chain anything else. That's fine. Yeah, because now all you have is... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. What does this fog blade do? Then target one of the Phantom Knights monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. No, no, fuck off. Get out of here. I know this card is a Silent Boots. So if I just get rid of this cloak for good, <laughs> then they can't summon this. Yep, and then they concede. All right. Cool! We managed to beat Phantom Knights with good old Zodiac. Yeah, sure, we can save that. And yeah, let's uh, go on to the next. Okay, everyone, let's move into our next game with good old Zodiac on a three win streak. Not too bad. Lose the coin flip, that's fine. I'm not particularly concerned if I have to go second, because as we've said before, we have a lot of hand traps, we have a lot of back row, and we don't mind playing with more cards, being the more controlling deck. Alright, we've got Max C and Skullmeister, that's not bad. We've also got Thoroughblade and Ram Ram, so we could potentially go into our Utopic Future combo. Would have been nice to open with that, but I'm not complaining about uh, being able to do it next turn either. So they have the Extravagance, unfortunately we don't have the Ash in response, and I definitely don't want to maxi just yet. Especially if they're playing Extravagance, they're definitely not as reliant on their back row, or on their extra deck, and sure enough they're going to set a whole bunch of back row. Um, yeah, that's, it is what it is. We got a Ram Ram, so I'm thinking I'm probably just going to summon that, and then attack, and then just go into Zeus, right? Ooh, we got a Desires. Let's go ahead and activate that first in case we draw Harpies or... Good old Lightning Storm. Mm, decent banishes. Actually, pretty good banishes, all things considered. Excuse me. Oh no, they have an Ash. That's unfortunate. Um, eh, okay. That's, it is what it is. So yeah, I think rather than trying to go into like a Thoroughblade Ram Ram like combo, I'm just gonna summon Ram Ram, and then I'm gonna overlay into Hammer Kong, and then from there, uh, let's just see if the summon gets responded to, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, summon Ram Ram. Summon Limit. Okay. So it's definitely Eldritch, or some kind of stun deck. So we only get one more summon this turn. While this card is faced up on the field, we only get one more summon this turn. So, let's see. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do, right? We get one more summon while that's face up on the field. So let's make that next summon our Dryden't. Summon it in attack mode, then we're gonna attack directly, and then we're gonna pop the summon limit, and then we're gonna go into our Zeus. Plus, if they try to flip up another Floodgate, like a Skill Drain here, I can just dry it in in response. Ooh, Threatening Roar. It's not typically in Eldritch, is it? Well, Threatening Roar is going to keep us from attacking this turn, which is fairly annoying, but we can't really do anything in response, so... I could pop the Summon Limit here, and then... Okay, Detach Ram Ram, pop Summon Limit, then I can go into... Tiger Mortar, Detach Strident, Reattach the Ram Ram, then I can go into Chakanane and summon so Let's do that. If you heard my, like, slapping, that was me, like... One of the ways that I visualize my plays is that I, like, mimic the positions of the monsters on the board with my hands. Helps me think about, like, every... I don't know, it just helps me think in general. Okay. Strident F, Detach Ram Ram, Destroy Summon Limit. Okay, 
you're going to respond with the Conquistador. And I'm actually going to respond with Max C, because if they're going to be special summoning, then I am going to draw when I get the chance to. I don't know why they're summoning the Conquistador here, to be quite honest with you. Doesn't this have to have a Golden Lord to destroy a card? Okay. And then Hammer... Wait, I didn't say Hammer Kong. But do I want to go into Hammer Kong? I don't think there's any need to right now, because I can't go into Zeus anyway. I could, yeah, I could also go into this Drill Driver. But I think first, I'd rather... I'd rather Chakanane first. Chakanane, summon Dryden. Ah, oh, and then I can... Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 okay. Right? Watch this. Chakanane? Summon Chakanane. Activate F. Detach Dryden. And special summon my Dryden back to the field in defense mode. Yeah, we don't even need Avarice to recycle our Dryden, because now I can overlay Tiger Mortar. Activate Tiger Mortar's effect. Detach Chakanane. You guys can probably see where I'm going with this. I'm going to target my Dryden. Put the Ram Ram on. And then now I can go into the Drill Driver. I kinda wanna put a second one of these in the extra deck instead of like, I don't know, probably third Tiger Mortar. I haven't used that yet. And then, yeah, I'm gonna pass here. This Drill Driver's been a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's just nice to be able to go into a decent body and not have to end on a 0 0 Zodiac necessarily. But yeah, that's a. Wow, I'm glad I thought of that play in the moment when I did. So, some of you guys who are more familiar with the deck might have even been yelling at me to do that in past games, and I didn't, didn't even realize it. So fortunately, our opponent does not have access to their Golden Boy, it looks like, which, as I've said in the past, like, this deck is a lot more manageable when they don't have their Golden Boy. Uh, no, I don't need to activate Dryden't during the end phase. I'm just gonna destroy this in battle. Okay, I got a Tanky. Let's go ahead and act- you know what? I'm trying to think, because I could go, I could still do my little combo here. Well, no, I, well, I could actually, I would just need to use Dryden's effect, which I'd kind of rather not do. I'm just going to start by activating Tanky and see if my opponent responds. They respond with Summon Limit again, that's fine. Uh, I'm definitely past the point of caring about Summon Limit, I think. We will add the designated card. What designated card would I like to add? Let's add a Whiptail. Oh, let's definitely add a Whiptail. Because then I can... Activate Whiptail. I'm going to equip Whiptail to Dryden's. I don't need to use Dryden's effect. Then I'm going to turn Dryden into attack mode. Okay, wait, hang on. Let me see something. No, yeah, I still have my normal summon. I was like, wait, I still have a normal summon yet. Um, I could still, I could blow up the summon limit. I'm gonna summon my Thorough Blade. And I think I will actually use his effect here. Okay, our opponent's not even getting a prompt to respond, which is really nice to know. Okay, we, we, blah, 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 they've got Nibiru. All right, now I'm gonna move to battle phase. Now I'm going to attack this Conquistador, because then I get to banish it, and my opponent won't get an Elder Lich Trap from the deck now. Let's attack directly with Thoroughblade. Let's attack directly with Drill Driver. Alright, main phase two. Now I'm going to activate Dryden's effect. I'm going to detach this Whiptail. I'm going to blow up their second summon limit. And now... Now we can have some fun. Now we can go... Okay, it's got two, so that's two, three, four, five, six. I can make a six material Zeus, right? 
It's two, three, yeah. Yep, I can do this. Wait, yeah, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay, just wanted to make sure I counted right. Yeah, once again, just trying to think, just want to make sure that I've got everything. I'm not going to do anything with this Thorough Blade, I pretty much just summoned it for damage. I really should have ended on Shockinade and was technically correct here. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... And finally, Zeus. In defense mode, as always. And we'll pass. On a six material. Ah, I love that six material Zeus. Especially against stun. This is where a six material Zeus, this matchup probably is where this matters a little more than a four material Zeus. Again, generally speaking, six materials is kind of show off y. Four is mostly fine. But. But <laughs> I want to I want to Zeus during my opponent's end phase here, for sure. Again, I'll be blowing my own stuff up too, but I'm not particularly concerned about that. It also doesn't particularly matter which ones you send. Actually, it kind of does, but we got the concede from our opponent anyway. So, all right, that makes a nice third game there. And I think with that, we're just going to go ahead and move on to the outro. Alright guys, thank you so very much for watching these duels with Zodiac. I am having a lot of fun practicing with this deck in time for the festival coming up. Uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content as well. As always, I'm still kind of experimenting between replays and live commentary, so I'm eager to know if you like the live commentary, if you like the replays, or if you like a mix of both. I'm always looking for suggestions from you guys. Without further ado, I think I'm going to end things here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day.